Okay, so this is 13.5 continued. So again, suppose that say z is a function of x and y, then if you raise both sides to the n power, z to the n would be an f x y to the n power. Uh, by chain rule, uh, we have that the partial z to the n with respect to, say, x will be, so using the power chain rule, be n z to the n minus 1 partial z with respect to x. And partial z to the n with respect to y will be n z to the n minus 1 partial z respect to y. Okay, so let's look at an example. So let's box these. So let's look at an example. This one is from practice quiz 5, number 3. So it says uh, find partial z with respect to x implicitly. And our function here is x cubed y z plus z squared y plus 2x squared equals 7. Okay, so it says find it implicitly because this would be fairly hard to solve for z. So the z here and z squared here. So therefore, we're going to find the answer implicitly. So we're going to take the derivative uh, with respect to x on both sides. So take derivative with respect to x on both sides. And i.e. tree y as a constant. Okay, so uh, therefore, if you're looking at this first guy here, I can break it up like this. Uh, so we have a function of x here, and z is, we're assuming a function of x, we're assuming z is a function of x and y. So uh, we call this first guy, say, f1, this then is f2. Here uh, it has uh, z squared and y, so no need to use product rule here. So taking derivative of both sides with respect to x, we have to use a product rule on this one, so it's going to be uh, f1 prime times f2 plus f1 times f2 prime, then plus, now coming back over here using these guys, uh, we're taking derivative with respect to x, so it'll be 2z, then partial z with respect to x times y, plus, this becomes those 4x and derivative 7 would be 0. So look at this. Again, this guy here was from the chain rule over here. Okay, so from over here. And let's uh, work this out then. So f1 prime, uh, so the prime means with respect to x, so it'll be 3 uh, x squared y times z plus f1, so it'll be x cubed y. F2, f2 prime would just be uh, partial z respect to x. Partial z respect to x. Which will be stuff. I'm going to write the z and the y together with the two. I write y z partial z respect to x. 
plus 4x equals 0. OK? So now we're going to isolate the particles in respect to x. So isolate partial z with respect to x. So get it by itself. And so let's do that. And let's see if I move. Oh, yeah, I'll move this up now a bit. So, just for now. So isolating it, so we'll have then the 3x squared yz on one side, uh, the 2yz on this side. So, sorry, uh, 4x. So I'm getting all the ones that don't have partial y respect to x here, keeping here. The rest I'll bring across the equal sign. So it'll be then equals, so it'll be minus x cubed uh, y partial z respect to x minus, take this one across, 2yz partial z respect to x. Okay. Then I can factor out, so let's factor out partial z with respect to x on right hand side. So doing that, we'll get a 3x squared yz plus 4x equals minus x cubed y minus 2yz. Factoring out the partial z respect to x. And then solve for partial z respect to x. So divide by this guy on both sides. So doing that, let it partial z respect to x equals 3x squared yz plus 4x divided by, uh, we can pull that minus sign out up there, minus x cubed y plus 2yz. If you wanted to, you could bring that minus sign to the top then, so I think we write this thing. Minus 3x squared yz plus 4x all over x cubed y plus 2yz. That's our answer. So we're done.